guys, it's very early on a Tuesday. I am just about to leave for a breakfast event. The lighting in here is awful. It's making my hair look really frizzy. But I thought I'd show you my outfit quickly. Ignore the pile of bags in my room. I didn't know what bag to wear today. So I had to dig them all out and I haven't got time to tidy them before I leave. But I am wearing these navy smart trousers. These are from Zara a couple of years ago. I'll try to find something similar and link them down below. Yeah, I had them tailored, taken up. Just a white t-shirt from And Other Stories, a hoodie and my trench. And I've chosen a black bag. I, I was thinking um, brown, like this one, but I just, yeah, I don't think the colours work. I think it needs to be something a bit more muted. So I've packed everything into this old Zara bag um, and I'm hoping my water bottle will fit in here as well because I'm out pretty much all day today. My friend got me this, it's kind of like an in, in what's it called insulated travel cup for my birthday and it's a really cool one because it has like a touch screen when you charge it up it tells you what temperature your drink is inside great if you've got a hot drink in there and you don't want it to be too hot but it'll keep it hot for long enough and how cold it is and also it reminds you to drink like you can set a timer on it for every like hour or every hour and a half or every two hours and yeah you'll be reminded to have a drink. I've had to turn that off. Oh God, I was feeling this everywhere. I've had to turn the timer off because every time it goes off, I'm like, what is beeping? What's going on? What, like, what alarm is, what alarm am I setting off? It scares me. Yeah, it's very cool if you're one of those people who forget to drink water like I do. But I've also just been loving cold water. We've got this Brita filter thing that we keep in our fridge and I'm just so much more likely to drink more water if it's cold than if it's just like room temperature on tap. So yeah, I've been loving taking this around with me. I'll leave a link to that down below as well. I'm gonna make like a Amazon lifestyle shop thing so you can like have a look at all my lifestyle bits from Amazon because that is definitely on there. Yeah, so I'm off to an, a breakfast event and then I'm getting my lashes done with Novu lashes. I think it's kind of some sort of new express LVL treatment. I'm not really sure what it is, but I'm so excited about it. I have curled my lashes to, to the high heavens today. Um, and it just, yeah, my lashes are so straight. It's a shame it doesn't hold. I need to finish my cup of tea. Oh my God, I need to go. Oh, my tea. I should have put my tea in the flask, not water. <laughs> black and belted it's very long on me so I would have to get it tailored but I quite like the shape of it although it is a little bit um, dressing gown esque what do you guys think this is the same one but in brown I really like this but again just a bit too long I think but belted looks like this what do you think black or brown and this which I've been seeing everywhere in brown recently but I found a black one which is a bit more me very snugly cozy for winter cropped they also do a longer version and this is cheaper than those belted ones as well and it feels a bit more sturdy and warm and fleecy inside really like this one okay and then there's this green trench it's like a dark dark black green i absolutely love this big enough for a jumper underneath what do you guys think what do you guys think about this i think it is super flattering but i don't know if it draws attention to my stomach because of all this kind of ruching down the side but i really like the shape of it and the high slit i might treat myself to this you it i'll show you it tonight or tomorrow um i am just on my way to my lash appointment now it's such a nice day in london today it's beautiful i 
getting finished. I can't believe these are my natural lashes. They're so nice. Guys, how are these my eyelashes? They're insane. I've got so many of them. Oh, they're so nice. I'm gonna do a blog post with before and after pictures on my blog talking more about this new process and how much quicker it is. I am about to try another Fenty foundation today. I reviewed one in my last weekly vlog and then one of my best friends texts me, he'll probably be, be watching, hi Alex. He texts me last night saying he was watching my vlog and he saw the review of the Fenty and wanted to know if there was something kind of similar but a lot lighter and wondered if I'd tried the Fenty skin tint and I actually do have, oh yeah I do have that, it's the Ease Drops Flaring Skin Tint. Am I in focus? Too much stuff going on behind me. I need to have a big tidy of my room at some point. So yeah, I thought I'd try this today. It's probably, to be to be fair, it's probably not the best day to try this because I am breaking out big time at the moment. I um, tried a new skincare product yesterday and I don't think it's agreed with me, which is a shame. And I also have just finished my period and that does mean that I get spots. But I'm gonna try this anyway. It's gonna be super light. Probably not gonna cover very well i should probably try on a day when my skin is clearer but i'm gonna yeah i'll touch up with some concealer to show you guys the lighting in here is so bad today it is like rainy miserable i've just looked at the weather forecast and it's raining for the next like 10 days <laughs> it's so depressing but yeah let's give this a go i've just taken some before pictures and you kind of got a gist there oh wait let me take let me take two more before pictures because i get paranoid so today i've got an event into an event with La Roche Posay, one of my favourite skincare brands. I'm so excited to go because I haven't, I don't think I've spoken to the brand for ages. They were like the one brand that I used like religiously when I was on Rakutane. Um, their Effica H moisturiser, which I still use to this day, and the Effica H cleansing cleanser. Um, so I'm excited to hear if they're bringing out any new products. Let's get on with this. So the formula of this is so different to the soft matte foundation. It's like a proper like liquid, like it will spill if I move my hand. So it's a lot lighter. Again, great color match. I've got the shade one. And yeah, I think I'm gonna need a lot of concealer here. Or maybe not. So when I'm when I'm in Central today, I also need to pop into Uniqlo because I popped in there a couple of days ago on that on that vlog that you saw, and I saw a sign in there for a free alteration service. So if you buy a pair of trousers, then you can use a free alteration service. And I was like, oh my god, that would save me loads of money buying a pair online and then having to take them to my alterers who are that they're, they're not expensive, but it adds up, doesn't it? If you have to alter every single like pair you own so i was like oh my god i'm just gonna get a couple of pairs of new trousers and have them taken up here and now and then i can come and collect them today so yeah i'm very excited to go and collect those trousers i'll show you them when i get home and try them on okay so i've done my first layer and i'm actually quite impressed with that i've done this half of my face and it's actually covered pretty well it's evened all my redness out color's great i'm gonna like yeah put some more contour and shading in me when i do my rest of my face but it's not as light as i thought it would be and um, how does it feel it just it feels like a serum to put on not like um not like um a silicone serum but just like just feels like moisturizer on my skin i'm quite impressed with that hmm I'll do the rest of my face and show you guys. Okay, I'm done. I'm really impressed with the coverage considering it's kind of more like a blurring skin tint rather than a full heavy foundation. Um, but I do feel like it's clung to some dry patches, which I wasn't expecting. I don't know if you can see just around my eyebrows. It looks a tiny bit dry. I probably didn't moisturize enough and I probably should have exfoliated a little bit this morning. Um, oh, my skin is just so bad at the moment it's a little bit dry and flaky around my mouth as well for the most part like if you didn't have problem skin if your skin wasn't dry like mine and blemished i think this would be a really nice option maybe for those who have more kind of um 
oily skin because it does just blur everything it doesn't feel heavy but it's given really good coverage like that's yeah that's the thing i like about it the most it doesn't feel like i'm wearing a lot of makeup it's just a shame that my skin is so bad um yeah it's kind of filming that now it's put me in a bit of a bad mood it's kind of made me a bit sad about my skin um i'm just so frustrated that at the age of 34 i'm still getting acne if i should like it yeah it really upsets me um i haven't been using my retinols much recently my skin and me i haven't been using it as much because my skin's quite dry at the moment because of the weather changing and i didn't want to like make that worse and the product i tried last night um the new product i tried last night to help my skin was like one for really dry skin so i was like right i'm gonna sort my dryness out then i'm gonna continue with my skin and me um, to clear all my spots but obviously my skin just uh, it just reacts to ingredients and I've been really good for the most part of this year not trying new products just sticking to what I know and my skin's been pretty good but yeah one new product and this happens oh it's really frustrating sorry I'm just sitting here thinking about the fact that I need to sign up to my new doctors that is nearer to me so that I can potentially go and talk to them about my skin yeah okay ignore my chin I'm getting on with the rest of my makeup um I just oh, I'm so glad I had a lash lift on Tuesday because if I didn't have that right now I would feel so minging my my chin is looking a lot worse on camera than it is in real life um but yeah this lash lift oh my god it makes me it's like it makes me feel pretty and i've actually just started writing a blog post with a review of it with some before and after pictures where i say in the i say in the blog post um i've never really felt naturally pretty and i can say that like hands down i've never felt naturally pretty i've always felt confident with makeup on but never like like never with just like a little bit of um, mascara and lipstick like i feel like it takes me a full face of makeup to look and feel good oh my god why am i being so depressing this morning <laughs> But having a lash lift, oh my god, makes me feel so much more naturally pretty. It's something so simple, but it really does change how I feel about myself, having my lashes and brows done in particular. So I've just done my mascara for this eye, and I just want to show you me doing my mascara for the other eye, because it literally took me about two seconds. You see that? Like, they are my natural lashes, and I don't even need to put coats of mascara on. I just need to... really just run it through the ends because they've been tinted as well like that's pretty much it that took all of like two seconds that is my mascara done oh my god it's so good i've always wanted to be one of those girls who can get away without mascara on their bottom lashes as well but i'm not there yet it's something i'm gonna work towards like if i think about it five years ago 2000 and 17 was the year that i stopped wearing heavy eyeliner i used to wear eyeliner on my waterline every single day because without it i did not feel pretty and it's so weird to think about how i like forced myself to stop wearing it and try to make myself feel nice without it in my eyes because it made my eyes look smaller it was very heavy wasn't appropriate for every day it took a lot of training to be able to feel confident in my skin without um i make like heavy eye makeup on maybe it's just a case of forcing myself to go without now i don't know is that how it works i'm gonna wear it today anyway because it makes me feel good and with my skin at the moment i feel like i need it i'd actually be really interested to know guys if you started following me because of my roaccutane videos can you leave me a comment and let me know if the reason you started following me was because you found my acne videos that would be really cool <laughs> I got a new coat on Tuesday when I was in Uniqlo and I was so excited to wear it today but yeah, it's too rainy and I don't want my first outing to be... Oh, whoa, what a save. That was a spectacular save from, from me. Um, yeah, I didn't want my first outing for it to get like really wet. I put on this waterproof kind of puffer jacket I got from <laughs> Mango last year. The reason I'm laughing is because when I wore it last year, one, one person... I don't look like I could be in the back street boys <laughs> and now whenever I wear it I think of that I'm wearing I really like this outfit apart from the back street boys coat well no I'm not gonna lie I love this coat it's thermal it's 
snuggly, feels like a duvet, but I'm wearing like a long sleeved grey top, ribbed top from H&M a couple of years ago. I've got on a cream corduroy shirt, so my outfit will look like that with some blue jeans. And then this for outside. Um, and I'm trying to decide on trainers. I've got these. Charlie Cohen, who used to be my old neighbour and Reebok trainer. I've never really worn them before. I've had them for a couple of years, never really worn them because I don't think I'm cool enough to get away with these. But they're so comfy. Um, so, does that look all right? Just wanted to show you my foundation now. I've got, so I have got concealer and a tidy bit of powder on my chin, but I still really like the finish of this foundation. It's growing on me. I just think it looks very natural. It literally looks like I'm just wearing concealer where I need it. So yeah, when, when my skin is better, I'm gonna give this foundation another go because I really, really like how my skin looks, like especially my forehead, it looks really nice. <laughs> from central London and I have secured the goods. I'm really excited to try these on in a bit and see how much better they fit. So I popped into co-op on the way home to pick up myself some broccoli for dinner and I got some toothpaste. Get through so much toothpaste in the household. Um, some jalapeno and cheddar sourdough i'm gonna have soup for lunch so i might have a slice or two of that and i also found this i audibly squealed when i saw this in the shop because i've never seen it before it is a lotus biscoff chocolate <laughs> oh my god it was two pound seventy so it's quite expensive but oh my god lotus biscuit is my like one of my favorite top three biscuits and chocolate i'm obsessed with so i'm going to do first impressions <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna do a first impressions and review this on my tiktok i'd love it if you could come and subscribe to my tiktok channel i'm trying to um, do more content on there at the moment so yeah i'm gonna heat up my lunch also feeling really just positive about my skin now after talking to a pharmacist in the French pharmacy which is about a 10 minute walk from Oxford Street with La Roche-Posay they, so they stock La Roche-Posay that was where the event was today and um, I was talking to the pharmacist about my kind of skin problems and there was a particular La Roche product that really broke me out uh, I think it might have been earlier this, this year it was um, it was a serum for acne and I tried it and it really aggravated and made me break out even more and I understand that sometimes um, products can break you out before it gets better but I just knew that it wasn't right it was like it was really bad being very honest here and I told the pharmacist that and she said it's because that particular um serum if you don't have like oily skin which I don't it can be too strong so basically it will strip your skin of oil and in turn make your skin break out more because your skin needs the oil to be healthy so yeah if you've got oily skin and acne that serum will be amazing for you especially for teenagers as well but for me it was too strong i'm going to try they've got a retinol serum instead which i'm going to use give it a go when it arrives but i've also got the Tlerian night cream which i'm really excited about trying it really soothes anti-redness anti-discomfort i love la roche posay because it's like no fragrance no excellent like no added alcohol but it's like a pharmacy led brand so you can kind of trust that the stuff they say on the package will work so yeah i want to make some lunch now and then get cracking with some filming this is the soup i'm having for lunch today i poured most of it out into a bowl um yellow split pea turmeric dal sounds so nice <laughs> So these are the first pair of Uniqlo trousers that I got altered. I just had them taken up. They are, I think they're called like the heat tech thermal in some ways. They'll keep you really warm in the winter. And I've got this really nice cream shade. And yes, I am 
very happy with this with the length i said this on my instagram but normally i do like to go for a little bit more cropped but with these i decided to go a bit longer and smarter so that i can kind of wear them for all occasions and then these are the smart ankle trousers they come in loads of patterns and colors and i had them taken up a tiny bit higher and i just love the kind of shape of these they are so flattering super smart yeah these are going to be a really great staple also super comfy like oh my god so comfortable um making some dinner i have put cream on all of my spots having mackerel on toast and as soon as i opened that can of mackerel maurice was up on the counter like what is that i want some of that he's trying to get to it so funny look at him he's just watching my broccoli boil yes it's one of my favorite dinners i've just toasted some bread and put in some butter on probably probably too much butter i get my mackerel tin and i just put it on basically and i put it onto the grill to heat the mackerel up and to toast the bread a tiny bit more. But it's so good for you. Well, the toast isn't and the butter isn't, but the fish is, so, you know. G is coming back tomorrow from America. I think his flight will get to London at about 6 a.m. This is my last night starfishing in the bed. And I've been thinking lots, you know, because the last time he went on this work trip, it, ha it happened every year before COVID. And the first time we went on it was in 2019 about the same time of year and we were a year into our relationship then and i was so depressed when he left like oh my god i went into such a big depressive phase it was so bad that i signed up to a therapist and i just felt my mental health was oh my god guys it was so bad like i was actually a bit concerned about my mental health it was that bad i don't know why that was i think it was a bit of seasonal affective disorder kicking in like in a big big way and also maybe just what's the word i didn't feel very safe like i still felt very vulnerable at that time in our relationship i think because we were only a year in and we were we'd live we were living together by that point but it wasn't like yeah i guess i just didn't I don't know it's very it's very weird to think about does anyone else get like that when their partner goes away so i was really really worrying about him going away this time i was like oh my god he's going to go away and i'm going to be really depressed again because maybe maybe i was depressed because he went and i was worried about that in the weeks leading up to him going away this time i was i was not gonna lie i've been a bit worried that, that my mental health was going to go downhill i really didn't want that and i'm really glad to say it hasn't oh, my battery's gonna die what i'm trying to say is i think it's because this time i just feel in like i just feel so safe in like a safe relationship and it just feels really nice put a new battery in my camera i am now frying i've just like drained all the water out and added some olive oil to fry <laughs> my broccoli i'm not really sure of the point i'm trying to make but i'm just I'm just saying, it feels, I feel so much more um, safe now. I don't know if that's to do with being married or maybe my mental health generally is better now. Or maybe that just was a really depressive stage in my life and it was just a coincidence that he was away at that time as well. I don't know. I'm waffling. Me waffling on meant that I burnt, burnt my toast under the grill which I knew would happen, I always do that. Only a little bit, round the edges. <laughs> but this is my mackerel, it looks gross. I'm gonna douse it in lemon juice and hot sauce. And I've got a little plate of broccoli there. Hey guys, today is Saturday. I wasn't gonna vlog today, but I decided why not? I just wanted to show you my skin because at the start, I think it was the start of the vlog, I'm getting really emotional about it and I really stepped up my skincare this week and it's starting to look so much better so I thought I'd just show you and tell you about it. I've been using the La Roche-Posay Sica Plus Balm on individual spots. It's like a cream designed to heal so like if you've got burns or a cut or a scratch or sunburn or eczema it's 
just designed to heal it it's got those kind of ingredients in it so i thought okay instead of just smothering it on all my face i'll just put it on those individual blemishes and then last night i used my skin and me for the first time in like a week i haven't been using it as often because my skin is so dry at the moment i don't want to aggravate it but i used it for the first time this week and whenever i use that product honestly the next day I wake up and my skin is dramatically different. It's just a shame that I can't use it every day because it's quite, maybe maybe that actually means I need to talk to the dermatologists on there and they can lower my dose again. But yeah, today's the first day I've woken up with no like active spots. It's all just scarring. This one and this one were like at head last night. But yeah, my skin, I'm just feeling so much happier with it today. So I have products that I know work for my skin. It's just really frustrating when it gets so bad and then it feels really hopeless. Ah, oh, okay, I've just found this. I've just found my Aborian Super BB Cream. So I'm gonna wear that foundation today. I've been really enjoying experimenting with products recently. I've also got this um, Rodeo, Ro Rodeal Soft Focus Glow Drops Illuminating glow primer i don't think i've actually tried this before so i'm gonna give it a go now so i've got spf on i've got spf 50 on today because i've been using my skin in me now i've been using the is extreme protect skincare cosmocuticals it's spf 40 looks like this it's huge i really like this i like how thick it is but it is so thick that it leaves a really white cast so <coughs> i'm not sure i would recommend it for people who have um a darker skin tone because it will just make you look like it it leaves such a white cast they need to improve the formula i think but for me it's fine so i just use the tiniest bit of this i don't just doesn't need much and i just work it around the middle of my face and drag it outwards so today g's back we are going for a spot of brunch there's a brunch place near us that he absolutely loves and he always wants it and i i'm a bit over the dish now the dish is called Women by Eggs. I've had it so often that I'm kind of over it, but he's just very excited about it. And then we might go and look at some carpets. We really need our carpets redone. So we're gonna go and look at that. And then, why am I breaking out there? That's so weird. And then we've got a secret date night tonight. It's G's booked it this time. Um, I have no idea what it is, but from what he's saying, it sounds quite scary. It might be, I don't know, it might be Halloween based. So this is that. Um, foundation it just make, makes my skin so glowy it's a tiny bit too dark for my skin and they don't do any lighter colors which is such a shame but i do like the finish of it so i'm quickly going to finish this up put some dry shampoo in and then go i'm going to try a new mascara it is the max factor x full slash effect xxl I can't remember the last time i used the drugstore mascara i usually use my hourglass unlocked hello <laughs> Hi! Using the mascara? Yeah! 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 So suspicious when he has been talking to myself upstairs. I mean, my lashes don't need much at the moment, so it's probably not going to be a great review because they're already looking fantastic because of my lash lift. Oh god, oh no, oh no, oh no! New mascaras, they really just take a while to get to their a good point, don't they? Because they're way too wet at first. All over my eyelid as well. Are you a handsome boy? Looks cool, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, Maurice. So, we were going to go carpet shopping, but I wanted to go to um, the garden centre near Ross because my friend's just bought a house, her first house, and I wanted we wanted to get a gift for like a moving in present. So we popped into the garden centre and we got her a little gift. We got her a little hanging plant pot ornament. Um, but we've been, one thing on our list of things to do for, for ever since we moved in was to replant the kind of like flower beds in our garden. And every summer we're like, right, we're gonna do this and we never get around to it. But our garden centre had so many gorgeous bedding plants and they were on offer. So I picked some up, we're gonna do one of them today instead of carpet shopping. This is what I've gone for. I love the colours, it really reminds me of the trip I went to in Greece. So we've got some of these gorgeous bedding plants. I can't remember what this is called, but apparently it tracks bees in the summer. And we've got some of my favorite um, hyacinths as well. And I just think the colors of this is gorgeous. So let's get gardening. So these are the befores. 
Um, what one should we do? Oh god, they're longer than I thought they were. <laughs> Yeah, they're lying on there. I'm yeah. That was a bit of a mess. Yeah, should we do that one first? So yeah, we're gonna, this is the before. Yeah, I feel like that's just weeds, really. Yeah, and apart from the lavender, it is just a mess, isn't it? So this is planted. We've tried to wash the garden as best we can, but we don't have a hose. Um, we need some sort of like jet, <laughs> jet washer. But I've tried washing the sides down as well because we need to paint, repaint these. They're really chipping. Um, so yeah, that'll be the next job, painting both of these flower bed things. We also need to wash Maurice's paws because they are very muddy right now. Oh, we've also decluttered half of our vase collection. So these are the only like plant pots we've got now. Just a few plastic ones if we need to repot anything. Then I really like the terracotta stuff so the plot pots we're getting rid of out on the front wall i'm gonna tell our neighbors to help themselves so they can yeah be donated look oh, at your dirty paws he's a happy boy <laughs>